this bike is minty. We got a whole list of everything that we need to order for this bike to get her back on the road. Yamaha R1, my favorite bike. That is what we are building today. The premise of this video is going to be fix it, ride it, and sell it all in this one video. So this is gonna be a complete Yamaha R1 rebuild. Uh, let's get into the build right here. We're gonna be keeping this bike the OEM way it comes from the factory with the OEM red fairings that it came with. We're gonna leave the exhaust and we're just gonna take her back to her original stock form. We didn't have this thing with the subframe when we got it, so we have a subframe right here. And let me just go over the parts I have on the floor while I'm talking about. It. So we got a new rear wheel with tire. I got mirrors, front stay. I got a headlight assembly, little uh, plastic piece that goes inside the subframe, a radiator, clip-on, steering stabilizer, battery, and right now, I got some other parts inside that box and then some stuff on the way, but right now we're just going to go at it and remove this rear wheel, because you can see right here this rear wheel, boom, check that out, I won't even spin, this rear wheel is absolutely smoked. So we're gonna take this off, slap the new one on there, and also we're just gonna go right into installing the subframe on this bike. The subframe in place along with all the wiring, these little plastic pieces, this one's like super dirty. All this wiring is pretty simple back here, all this just goes in place. You got your fuse box, you got your tip over sensor, a relay over here. This plug is for our rear brake light and then these two other plugs down here are for the turn signals. That's an integrated rear brake light so we're just going to wire turn signals into this right here and then these two are for your license plate bracket. What's nice about this guy when he took everything apart, he left all the OEM hardware in here so when I'm putting in this uh, front stay I'm also going to just slap on this steering stabilizer and I'm going to pop off this upper triple so I can swap out these clip-ons also. Shape. I'm waiting for that other plastic to yeah because this to one really, to really try to mesh that body line All right, so I'm gonna put this clip in in the middle of this R1 video So we just picked up a 2016 GSX-R 600. This thing is absolutely minty um, There's very few red GSX-R 600s that I've uh, Encountered and that's the OEM color. It's like a I don't want to say it's a limited edition But it's like a more rare color scheme. That's not what I'm trying to talk to you guys about right now So we got a lot going on on the side here So as you guys know, I also have my real estate ventures or if you guys don't know because you don't really watch this channel I'm also trying to be involved in real estate and uh, right now behind the scenes I'm currently in the process of finding property number three. I've gone through 
Bradenton didn't work out, Sarasota didn't work out, and right now I have something that's promising that might go through, so there might be another warehouse build. It won't be a series, I'll just kind of show you guys what I'm going to do because I, I think I'm going to spec out this new warehouse strictly like to rent it out, um, but who knows, maybe I'll get a little crazy, maybe I'll be like, I want to move into this one, and then like trick the whole thing out, and then the one that I'm in right now that I just tricked out for myself ends up being a rental because someone else will be like, oh, I'll pay more a month for this because this place is freaking gangster. And and uh, I moved to the next one, which is a poor business decision because I spent a lot of money to make it exactly the way I want it. Um, but then again, you know, if I could build a cooler place, that's, that also would be cool for me. So that's uh, that's where emotions get into investments and they make less money, but if it still makes money, it still makes sense. I just disconnected those two bolts for the radiator and I'm actually gonna pull this thing outside and disconnect the radiator lines because there's still a coolant inside of this so we don't make a mess inside of here because you know, is there coolant? There might not be coolant inside of this. Oh, there is no coolant in this. Bang, I got the fairing kit right here, and dude, I don't know why, but like I used to not really like red as like the primary color on bikes, but lately, like I've just been really like, really liking red. I think this red looks sweet. I got a whole bunch of really like nice little things to be put on this bike, like, you know, it came with these nice like LED turn signals. I have this nice little license plate light, and I also have a uh, bracket to hold the license plate like down there underneath the tail. I already put the brake light inside this under belly piece. You know, it's just two bolts right there. And then, uh, you know, it's integrated turn signal, so we got wire or wire those yellow wires up into it. But this will just sit there underneath it. It's the next day. I have the front piece for the tank right here. It's Sunday, so no one's here right now, so I'm gonna hide this somewhere so then, um, you know, homeboy can use this and paint match it for the tank, and then hopefully I can pick up the tank tomorrow. I got this whole gauge cluster front stay in. I got these little plastic grommets in here. Right here are the air rams for the front. I got those installed along with like the little bracket piece behind this, this piece, which is all cosmetic there's like an air gap in this and it's just cosmetic piece we got our front air ram piece all that stuff hooked up and then you come over here i also put the rubber grommets in our wheel cover piece right there and the front fairing for the headlight assembly we're good to go i put those clips in and the headlight assembly is inside this front piece Well, I forgot to order the brackets that go on the side of this radiator that hold this ECU in place like that. So what I'm gonna do is I stencil out what I need to cut to make this bracket right here. And then for the recifiator on this side, I just need a little bracket because like this clamps in right there on the back side. I'm gonna stencil it out on this uh, sheet right here and then we'll cut it up.
So you can see I got this front wheel cover on and our metal brackets worked out really nice. What I did for this ECU side is I just bolted it on right there. Then I cut out four holes for zip ties. And honestly, this is nicer in my opinion than the OEM because the OEM is just one big plastic piece here. So we have a nice little piece of aluminum holding that on there. I might have to bend it this way a little bit so the fairings fit in there properly, but you know, that thing's on there nice, nice and tight. And this side, and oh also, this bracket's on there. That thing's really on there because it's a lot closer. It's nice and short. Um, everything in here is good to go. I have to, I think this is the one I have to split and cut and hook up the tabs for our turn signal. I'll probably just, you know, put this up in here nice and neat, zip tie it together. Um, right here are our motor mount bolts. I had these laying around from another part out motorcycle of the same thing. So I just gotta tighten this down. And then on this side, there used to be a frame slider on it. So you see how it's not all the way in. I have right here the exact same thing that comes off of it. And this is the OEM one, and we're just gonna, you know, put that in, take this off. I took off the air ram right here because I need to put coolant inside this bike. I can't do that till I have the tank on, and I can uh, get it cranking and like have the thermostat open up so that I can bleed the system. I might fill it up just a little bit in the meantime. Then we come over here. I already cut out the foil for these two lower belly fairings. These are the only pieces that need the foil. The way these fairings work on this bike is you'd have this piece in, this piece, and then you bolt. This piece down here on the bottom, I saved the OEM tabs from another part out, so we have these nice little OEM pieces of hardware. And yeah, I'm gonna put these on next, and then I am swap out these bolts, and then come up here and figure out what's going on with all our wiring. I know right here is a part of the wiring that's also broken off that goes to our horn. This right here is where it plugs into, so I gotta cut that, solder it, and heat shrink it. Other than that, then, uh, once I figure out where that goes, we can button it all up and the whole front end will be nice and put together. My hairspray isn't specifically for my hair. You know, we also use it to install the grips on the motorcycles. I just got the tank back from paint. This thing's looking minty, nice and repaired. And I got like an hour and a half to get this bike 100% dialed before I got loaded up and take it to Tampa. Leading the coolant system. I fixed our little halo halogen thing. You see we got our headlights on. I just, this thing's off at 220 right now. I'm really in a rush because I'm running out of time. So I don't think I'm gonna be filming too much here. You guys might see the next clip of it in the truck. Got the 150 loaded down.